I need to run inference locally. And for that, I'm going to build a GPU rig. The GPU must have at least 24 gigs of VRAM. And it must be able to support CUDA 11 to CUDA 12 code, running CUDA 11 to CUDA 12 code. So it leaves me with Pascal architecture GPUs, specifically NVIDIA P40. So as I'm going to build this rig, as cheap as possible, I'm going to use a used P40. I will be building this rig around a used P40 GPU. Um, this GPU, it has a PCI Express Gen 3 by 16. So I need a, a motherboard that supports, that has at least one slot of PCI Express Gen 3 by 16. I chose to go with X99, X99 chipset uh, and a Xeon CPU. This chipset, uh, it will allow me to use ECC memory. I will go with uh, two models, 32 gigs each, and a Xeon, Xeon uh, E5. I'm going to buy a used P40 strip the cooling system from it, the heat sink, and replace it, replace the air-cooled uh, air, uh, air cooled original heat sink with a water cooler. Uh, I chose to go with the 240 millimeters long water cool solution. It's basically a CPU water cooler, but with custom made fitting for P40. Also, P40 GPU, it uses EPS power socket for powering. And the desktop PSU, they, they give uh, PCI Express power, power, power lanes which have different sockets. They, they, they all, they, they both 8 pin, 12 volts, but the pin out is different. Xeon E5-2697 version 4. It has TDP of 200, oh, 145 watts. So I will be also using a water cool solution for that. And the PSU, PSU is rated for 650 watts, so it's, it's enough. Um, GPU has TDP of 250 watts. Uh, CPU is 145 watts. And that's, that's the main, main consumption, consumption of this rig. So it should be okay. Next, next is the case. The case is the smallest MITX that can fit two water cooler systems uh, one is 240 millimeters long and the other one is 100 what 20 for the cpu and a conventional atx psu so i went with the small mitx case that is 20 20 21 liters um 25 21 liter um Case. Uh, lots of modern cases. They go. They they come with uh, glass side door side side panel. But I don't really like glass side panels. They heavy and easy to 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 shatter. Uh, so I went with the plexiglass. The case uh, came with the box. Uh, or. Uh, or the handle, the screws, everything. And there's a there's an explanation like these screws are for the motherboard. These screws are these shaped screws are for uh, solid state drives. These are for spinning drives, three and a five inch drives. These screws, this type of screws are for the PSU. 
this type of screws are for the fans these tendals are for the side panel and the screws for the side panel that the exterior side panel i think this this is uh i'm using <laughs> next one is the ram the ram will be the standard double double rank by four DDR4 2400T. Um, for for now, for now, I just use two models for oh, by 30, 32 gigabytes each. That'll be enough for 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 the beginning. Now for the for the assembly part, install the CPU onto the socket on the motherboard. Install RAM. Install water cooled. Inst install the motherboard into the case, install PSU into the case, uh, route the cables, install the cooler, water cooler on the CPU, place the, uh, the heat exchanger to the back side, then install the GPU with the heat exchanger. I will think about if I install the heat exchanger on the top or on the bottom. I might strip the plastic case from the water pump on the GPU core uh, to lower the clearance and maybe I'll be able to install the heat exchanger at the bottom of the case. Uh, route the cables, put uh, the cable, the tubes, uh, and I'll think about how to place the USB dongle inside the case, so the antennas will face the plexiglass side panel. Now for the software. I plan to install Proxmox, install NVIDIA drivers, install NVIDIA container toolkit, and use LXC containers for everything else that will be run on the GPU side. In the containers, I will be using Docker. I will be deploying stack by stack things that I need with GPU support and without GPU support. I will use few Docker containers, a uh, few LXCs for different things to isolate things. And also there will be a VM with OpenSense to act as a router. Uh, router slash uh, intrusion detection system. And OpenVPN server, obviously. And this 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 will be the, the 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 general framework of this GPU rig on the software side. Okay, change of plans. As I was watching watching videos, how to swap air cooled solution for water cooled solution on the P40, I noticed that when the guy flipped the GPU PCB around. Uh, the PCB has empty placeholders for DVI ports, for, for HDMI ports. And I was thinking, like, how, how, how can I connect my display to this to the GPU for the initial setup? I know that Xeon, Xeon CPUs have no GPU cores. I've seen no DVI or uh, HDMI ports on the motherboard. How how can I connect a display to the system? So I'm pretty much used to server grade hardware, where we get a BMC, we get a dedicated uh, GPU just to set the system up. And this motherboard obviously has none of that, despite being able to use server grade CPU. So now I have to add another GPU just to get the system up and running. I chose a uh, GT730. Uh, it's a simple GPU that uses PCI Express Gen 2 by one port. I have Gen 2 by one on the motherboard. I bought it used and that should work.
I put everything together, turn it on to test if, if everything is working, uh, took out the GPU, the, the P40, stripped the cooling, installed, uh, replaced the thermal pads, all the thermal pads, installed the water water block and put them put it back together. So now it, it turns on. Now I'll go through the BIOS settings and install the software. So now the results and the conclusion. Overall, this build worked as expected, especially in the noise department. It's very quiet. Uh, for the Wi-Fi, I tried three dongles on different chips to get to get uh, uh, to get it to work, get them work as a, as a Wi-Fi client. I used op uh, OpenWRT virtual machine, but none of these three dongles worked. Uh, despite me installing the firmware and everything. Uh, so I need to to think of something else to make this rig to connect to Wi-Fi. Um, another unexpected part is quite high power consumption. Uh, I probably should have gone with less power hungry CPU because the Xeon uh, has TDP of 145 watts and I probably should have gone with something lower around 100 watts but still supporting 2400 uh, DDR4 memory uh, for the for the GPU uh, P40 has very it was very unexpected to have such high power consumption at idle while VRAM is active it, it consumes 50 watts just at idle while active. Um, very unexpected because uh, 3090, 4090, they are uh, the idle around, I can't get the number from the top of my head, but around 10 to 20 watts uh, while active. Um, another thing that this rig, the GPU in this rig can be swapped for a newer one uh, with minor modifications, but the motherboard has PCI Express Gen 3, so uh, 3090, 4090, they have PCI Express, they use PCI Express Gen 4, so the, the data transfers will be limited, but still, still, I, I think it's enough. No, they have uh, Gen 3 by 16 will be quite fast. 
um, what else? Um, uh, there's there might be some weird combination uh, of PCI PCI Express resource distribution. I faced uh, this this kind of weird combination when I installed uh, P40 and GTS Sen30. Uh, it worked when GT730 was in by one slot. The system booted, but through 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 the error of insufficient PCI resources. And then when I moved, because because the 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 water block didn't fit, the CPU water block didn't fit, the heat exchanger for the CPU water block didn't fit. So I had to move for uh, the GT730 GPU to the by four slot. And in, in this configuration, the system won't post. Uh, so I had to remove P40, set up above 4G decoding to ena enable above 4G decoding option and then install the p40 and then the system will post and boot as usual so these are some small caveats but overall uh it's working gpu is accessible in LXCs. um the speed is uh, the inference speed for for olama is okay so it's it's all right it's all right it's, it's, it's working as a tenant. That's about it.